Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 and Windows 11 both have a feature that's turned on by default called Remote Assistance, which lets someone solve PC problems remotely with the feature. Now, this is not to be confused with Remote Desktop. What Remote Assistance does is it lets someone take over your PC and fix problems on your PC from wherever they are. Now, the feature, as mentioned, is turned on by default. And what I like to do in most cases is turn the feature off because I have found in my experience that it's used more in the minority than the majority. And on my personal Windows devices, this is something I turn off by default on any Windows PC um, that I own. Now, you may ask why do I turn this off? And the first reason is for privacy and security. Because, as an example, if you are not that computer literate or your average Joe, there are tech support scams where scammers can use so-called scare tactics to trick you into unnecessary technical support services through remote assistance. And the main reason I actually turn it off for me for personal reasons is because it's part of my optimizing kind of routine when I'm optimizing my Windows PCs. Because when you turn off and you disable remote assistance, especially if you're not using it, which most people don't, it, it actually disables another process that's running in the background. So that's one less process running in the background. So in the bigger scheme of things, um, when you're optimizing your PC, especially on a low-budget PC, if it's just another process you've got to eliminate running in the background, it can help optimize and to some extent um, speed up your PC. Now, if you want to turn off remote assistance, it's quite simple. And on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, it's the same process. And because it's buried quite deep uh, in the settings, what I would suggest is just head into your search and just type in, in remote assistance. And then you just click on the relevant entry. And here is the um, dialog for the advanced system properties. And then it's the toggle right on the end on the right called remote, which if you do a search for it, it will open up uh, by default. And yeah, you'll see allow remote assistance connections to this computer. And what I like to do is I like to toggle that off, click on apply, click on OK. And that's just one less process running in the background. And especially and back in the day on so-called customers PCs, when it comes to security, that's also something I would disable by default. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.